Instagram, Facebook, how you guys doing? Like we're single family owners, single family, like what single family property owners, duplexes, triplex, fourplexes. You know, you guys doing that uh, COVID stuff. Remember moratoriums just ended about a month ago. Just guys remember every time you say, oh, I'm going to have a house and I'm going to rent it out. I think it's the National Multifamily Housing Council and National Apartment Association issued the following. On the disappointing news that less than a quarter of emergency rental assistance aid has been distributed to residents and owners in need. Amen. Like in church when you read the Bible scripture. You know what that's saying? That's basically saying, can you live off of 25% of your rent? That's basically what it's saying. So like, oh, 25%, I'm saying like only 25% of the people who've got shit, they needed money, the, the owner, the res owner of the apartment had to give you the moratorium stuff and not kick you out. 25% got income. That's when you, I tell you, it comes to that rental property stuff. Only way it ever works is if you have to float. But if it happens during a, like this COVID thing, 25% of people just have, have only gotten that money. And it also says, to follow up, it says, without action to improve disbursement of emergency rental, I think it's words, rental assistance program, renters are faced with further uncertainty. They're going to get kicked out, especially in California. Not in debt relief, but rental, owner, rental property owners move closer to foreclosure, bankruptcy, or forced sale of property putting the overall stability of the rental housing sector and broader estate market real estate market in trail now you don't hear that all you do is take the shot take the shot i'm telling you man before you get into that rental property stuff i know lost two duplexes to foreclosure had an investment property had to do this one forced sale of property forced sale of property people don't pay the rent so you got two options you're gonna let them stay there or you're gonna kick them out so, next time, that's why I say, if you don't have at least 16 units when it comes to rental property, don't touch it. I maybe go down to 12, but make sure if you're going down to 12, if you're down to 10 to 30% occupancy, that you can survive and you have the money to flow. Because this is already telling you, the so-called rental money, all, all these um, eviction moratoriums, and even flowing. So that means if you're an owner, but those single family homes, I'm gonna sell my house and rip my other house out. You know what happened during COVID, right? Can't kick nobody out. I was like, just watching them at the Section 8 house. Can't kick nobody out. Who's picking up the bill? And you can't cut off the utilities. Oh, maybe I'll cut the utilities off. Oh, uh, try that. Good luck. So that's what I'm saying. That's why I gave you the option. Say, pay off your credit card loans so you can stack some cash. Found some other ways to bring in some income. That's number two. Number three, we've got to work on this passive income thing. And maybe one of the passive things may not be you buying a house and fixing it up and trying to turn it around and stuff. Omicron is on the house. What is it? It's like Omicron. I'm thinking about a, what is it? A Unicron. I was thinking of Unicron. Omicron is here. What? what? Omicron. What? First, I guess with the Carnivorous one, blame the Chinese. Omicron! Blame all the black people, huh? The equal opportunity virus. Because I wish y'all, everyone get their own credit. Don't, I'm telling you, single family homes. Because the problem with like the single family, duplexes, fourplexes, maybe everything under, if you think up to eight, you may have a shot. Depending on your rent. Say if you have a thousand rate, that's eight thousand dollars times eight. Just assume of eight thousand times twelve is ninety six thousand. Half for expenses, that leaves you with forty four thousand. You have a property manager. Say you get a property manager for say you have forty four thousand. Property manager, you're paying two thousand a month. Maybe you can get a property company. To handle it since you don't have that many units and maybe have a landscaper or someone that you go through and do all the maintenance so that net profit you have forty four thousand hey you may get away with say ten percent to the property management company that's four thousand maybe another six thousand for plumbers landscapers 
I'm underestimating, probably a little bit more. You may have a profit of ten, twelve, thirteen thousand dollars a year after all that. The best of the best case scenarios, based on what I'm thinking right now, of an eight. Because up to that sixteen, at least ten, that's a hundred thousand, half the expenses. You may be able to bring a property manager on at twenty four thousand, say. Then make it that you down, that reaches you down to um, twenty six seven for the house landscapers for the plumber, insurance taxes. So you're looking at maybe another profit of maybe ten to fifteen thousand. So the other one, the other one with the eight, you're probably about looking at eight minimum gross income a year. You're looking at maybe ten gross ten to fifteen thousand with the more units. So the more units, the more leverage. And then as you raise the rent, that's how you get your cushion. But until then, you have to float your money or hope the tenants pay the rent. And that's the money you're going to invest in the property. But what I told you, before you go, I'm going to rip me some from the real property. It's all about the units, man. Just think if you have a house. I learned that with the one investment. They don't pay the rent for the house. Guess who's paying it? Yeah, I remember I had one person drive me around for two hours and only give me $100, half the rent. I ain't got no money. But they have a party, bought a new car, all kind of TVs and stuff in the house. Can't pay me a lousy. I think I'm, uh, she's supposed to maybe pay $500 a month. New car, new TV, going on vacation. In my face, man. I can't pay the rent. Finally, I did. Get you out, Sister Flo. Yeah, who I'm talking about? Talk about you, Sister Flo. Hey, man, pay your motherfucking rent. Hey, man, pay your motherfucking rent. Because God is in heaven. He's got his house. I need to keep my house from the bank, man, from foreclosure. So go join 202pdbroke.com. You see I have a new t-shirt selling that for $19.99. Stack the cash. Show you how to pay debt. Paying off your car loan. If you want to get a house, $300, $400, $500 programs we have with student loan. Close your survival book 50, 125, 275. Hey, maybe you just need to pay to pay, pay a lotto, man. $50 program. I just show you, hey, just pick the lottery numbers, man. Or just every day go out there, spend $50 on a lottery. If you paid a lot, do something, man. Get that passive income going. Then after that, we're looking for ways to build second cash flows. Now we have the merchandise t shirts. I'm going to show you how you can build a 10 to $15 million business when you YouTube. We're going to use advertising, use door-to-door, -door, cold calling. You just say, hey, why don't you just buy this 202-meterbroke.com. Go to our, my website, sign up, pay $19.99 for this shirt. Go out and let people know as you got older, you have more money in your pocket. Join 202 Make sure you subscribe to this channel.